first came IMAX, then 4DX and now ICE is here. Well, before you get creative, we are not talking about ice cubes or bus. But ice here means immersive cinema experience. But what is ice? How is it different from 4DX and IMAX? And how many holes it will create in your pocket? Let's tell you all in this video. But before that, please like, share and subscribe. The immersive cinema experience or ice goes beyond just one big screen experience and gives viewer a 270 degree view. It's like sitting in a theatre surrounded by screens on three sides. Check this out. It has five non-reflecting LED panels on each side of the auditorium. The additional panels give the effect of a wider screen with colours and shapes from the movies spilling from the main screen onto them. But what's the difference between all these three technologies? IMAX, as the name indicates, has the biggest theatre screen at 75 feet in height. In some countries, an IMAX theatre even provides 117 feet tall screen. You can enjoy the same realistic movie experience from any corner of the cinema hall. The screen is curved in the middle and intended to focus on the middle part. 4DX, on the other hand, is real 4D. With this four-dimensional real effect, you just do not watch a movie you see live in a 4DX cinema. The scenes are pretty lively. It incorporates multi-sensory, 21 different signature effects. So, a 4DX movie overcomes all of your senses. The signature effects make your seats run while the car chase scene is being played on the screen. Ice, unlike IMAX or 4DX, you don't have to keep your eyes focused straightly on the screen. The screen extends to the side walls and give a viewer 270 degree view. PVR, in partnership with French exhibitor CGR Cinemas, launched India's first IC theatre format in Delhi. With Avatar currently showing, there are two of these theatres in Delhi. One's based in Promenade Mall Vasant Kunj and the other one is at PVR Ambience Mall Gurgaon. In India, the upcoming Bollywood films like Ranveer Singh, Circus, Shah Rukh Khan's Pathan, Karthik Aryan starer Shehzada will be showcased on these IC screens. And Hollywood films like Mission Impossible 8, Shazam, Fury of the Gods will also be released in the high-end format in India. First IMAX came, then 4DX came and now ICE is here. There's another format called StreenX. So all the entire industry is trying to come up with some uh, technologies and some formats which will actually bring customers back to the cinema and give them a very enhanced movie experience. Uh, ICE, as you have seen, is called uh, Immersive Cinema Experience. Uh, and here, basically, not only do you have the vision and the film on the screen in front, but you also have these LED panels on the sides. Uh, as a result of which, you almost feel that you're immersed in a 360 degree environment while watching the film. You know, this is the first time in India, first of all. This is the first launch in India. Uh, this week, we've opened Delhi and Gurgaon. Uh, in Jan, we'll be opening one each in Bangalore uh, and in Bombay. Uh, and then thereafter, we will be opening in uh, Pune uh, and Ahmedabad. So, for f so far, we have about seven uh, formats or seven installations planned. And then depending upon the uh, feedback that we get from the customer, we'll try to roll it out as, to as many cinemas as we can. But how much will it cost? Well, this very immersive experience comes at an immersive cost. You and I will have to shell out 20% more for tickets to watch films in IC theatre format. The tickets could range from Rs 450 to 500 on weekends and Rs 250 to 400 on weekdays. Uh, the ICE cinema is, the technology is uh, about 1.8 crores per screen uh, and this is just a technology so I'm not talking about changing the carpets and seats because that's quite regular. Uh, yeah, so 1.8 uh, crores per screen is what the cost is, what the capex is, yeah. In the meanwhile, get ready for ICE, ICE baby. Stay tuned for more such videos and keep watching Money Control.